In this video, I'm just going to show you how to create an action to define patterns. In particular, I've got a lot of various patterns, bitmap patterns, and obviously you could define them one at a time. So you could just say file open, define pattern. But if you don't want to do that, you actually want to load all those patterns in a folder in one particular go. The best way to do is use an action and the file automate batch command. Now, I'm just going to quickly show you the actual defining of the pattern. I'm just going to quickly just select a file, open. Right, once you've actually opened that file, just go over to the actions. And I've actually already created the patterns uh, action, but I'm just going to actually show you quickly how to create one. So I'm just going to create new action, just click down there. Pattern open. Record. Now, just go over to the edit, define pattern. Now, of course, you could give it a name, but I'm just going to say pattern click OK and now just go close obviously you haven't changed anything you haven't done anything so there's no change to the pattern itself of course you could do some changes and then close that right so once you've actually done that stop the action there now if you can't see the action of course make an assumption the actions are there there's the actions via the window actions right now just go to File, Automate, and Batch. That's what you want to do. So you just go there. And now in this, you can actually, and helpfully, actually select that. But uh, obviously, there's other sets and patterns. But here's the actual action, Pattern Open. Now you can select a folder, choose. I'm just going to go to these patterns. These ones are PNG files, but I don't want to use those. I've actually got a selection of bitmap patterns. It's a bitmap collection, about 2,900 patterns. Uh, I'm just going to select a folder. I'm just going to select that folder. So choose. And now just basically run through that um, action. Just going to click OK. And it will just quickly run through all the various files. Now once you've actually done that, once you've obviously defined all the patterns, as in actually modified the patterns as, as mentioned, you can actually of course use the patterns in various things like a layer menu with the fill layer pattern. Also, you can use it with layer styles, layer effects. You can also use it in the edit menu with the fill command, which is quite good with patterns and with now with the latest versions with the scripts. So deco scripts, which of course can modify and change and create vast number of patterns. You can also use it with the pattern stamp tool, which you can find over in the toolbox. And of course, if you wish, you can convert the patterns from the current patterns to say maybe a bitmap format to a PSD format, and then you can use those in textures and displacement maps and also glass distortions. So there's quite a lot of uses. Of course, you can use the actual source pattern as a brush as well. So it's as well as just basically a standard file, standard image, which you can use as a layer. So now like so it's going through all these defining all these various patterns. There's quite a few in this folder, so just nearly finished. Once it's done that, you can actually go and use the patterns, which is the key thing, of course. Right, it's finished now. So you just go now to, I'm just going to create a new document quickly. Click OK, and I'm just going to go to Layer, once it's available, Layer, New Fill Layer, Pattern, click OK, and there you have it. You've actually got all the patterns not those ones, those were saved earlier. So there's the various patterns I've just created. So that's a quick way of basically accumulating all the patterns in a particular folder. Now I wouldn't suggest with this set, all 2,900, try and load them all in one go. So just obviously a folder at a time is probably the best way of doing it.